So this is the operations area of the office, and each of the workstations is more or less dedicated to a specific program or service that we provide. So this area over here is the fire weather area. So during the spring and the summer and fall when we're supporting the land management agencies, we have a forecaster here uh, during the day uh, providing forecasts and warnings. And uh, for those uh, customers, and then we call this the short-term desk over here where Alan is currently working and that's the desk that's looking at the first two days of the forecast and also issuing any watches, warnings, or advisories as needed for big winter storms or severe thunderstorms and all different kinds of weather. I'm Alan Poland. I'm a journeyman forecaster. Uh, I'm working here at the National Weather Service office in Pendleton and I'm on the evening shift and I'm monitoring the radar display and I can see that uh, there's a, uh, an area of moderate uh, rainfall uh, moving right over Umatilla County and uh, we're having moderate rain right outside uh, at Pendleton Airport right now and I'm looking at the pop probability of precipitation that we have in the forecast for this evening for Pendleton and it's only 26 percent so that should be at least 60 percent uh, to indicate that we're likely to have measurable rainfall this evening so I'm in the process of uh, I've just evaluated uh, our uh, POPs values, probability of precipitation, and uh, have decided that our props are too low, and I'm going to update the forecast to reflect uh, a higher likelihood and probability of measurable rain this evening. And then the next workstation over, we call it the long-term desk. Uh, here where the forecaster during the day would be working on days three through seven and then also the aviation program is supported here uh -huh. where we do forecasts for the airports in our area uh -huh. and then this workstation here when we do have severe weather it gets really active and so we have someone usually sitting here issuing the severe thunderstorm warnings mm -hmm. monitoring the radar mm -hmm. and so on a very busy day uh, someone would be sitting here doing that and then Anne is working our public service desk here, uh, where she, this desk has climate responsibilities for taking all the observations in and uh, doing quality control on those observations. And also, when people call and ask weather or climate related questions, then usually it's at this desk that, mm -hmm. that, that uh, those uh, calls are taken. Is that a Doppler? Uh, in and hydro too. Oh, this? Is this a Doppler display or what is that actually? Yeah, it's, it's basically our, uh, it, it, this one is a, actually a, it's a, it's a composite of, of the surrounding offices' radars as well. Mm -hmm. the Doppler radars. They just overlay them yeah. in there, um, and put them together so that you get a you know, bigger picture. How much sequence of time is going through there in that little re Um. Doesn't it also depends on, on the... Yeah, so each, each frame about is six about minutes. Uh -huh, six or seven minutes, minutes apart, uh -huh. and then that starts... So you're seeing about a half an hour worth of time there. And then, and then, of course, these sometimes it'll flash on and off depending on what they're running, what uh, settings they're running their mm -hmm. radar on. And then just, but for the most part, I think it would, most people tend, or most offices tend to run similar settings whenever a system is coming in and, yeah. and so it tends to be a little bit more smooth. So how's the hydro look? Is it just, are we up on water or what's what's up with that? Right um, it just, just gives us a, a graphical uh, representation of the, the, either the water levels mm -hmm. at various points on different uh, rivers mm -hmm. or creeks um, or it also gives us um, Flow, uh -huh. uh, a graphical representation of the, the flow level, yeah. and then and we also have uh, configured into the program, the monitoring program, all of the various uh, gauges, uh, what their uh, if they have one, mm -hmm. a flood stage, what the flood stage, uh -huh. a warning stage, and everything, or or what what is considered bank full, mm -hmm. and so if any of the rivers start to rise and get anywhere within a certain uh, uh, 
you know, a specified um, number close to the, the, the say, bank full stage, then mm -hmm. we'll see a line, like, uh, let's see if I can actually do it. A lot of graphs there. So, like, uh, like this one here, the uh, Snake River at uh, Anatone. Uh -huh. It has the bank full stage. Oh yeah. It need, it, this river would need at this point would need to get up to close to twenty feet uh -huh. before it's considered at bank full. Uh huh. And then um, I'm not sure what the orange one is, but the red one is the is the flood stage or the morning. And then I think purple is like a, isn't that like a record flood? Mm -hmm. the, the 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 highest that it's gone to mm -hmm. that, that at least that they've. Uh, Recorded. Yeah, that's interesting. So it helps us to yeah. to keep an eye on, make sure. This is an old weather broadcasting from WXL 95 in Pepperton. The short term forecast. So where is we? used to put the headset on and record our forecasts yeah. onto the radio. Right. Now we let the computer do it. That's right. Yeah. So once we issue a forecast, it's yeah, there it is. It's uh, divided up by the whichever transmitter. Yeah. We have 11 different transmitters in our area. And is that a and Vantage Pro Davis? Vantage Pro being utilized by the National Weather Service? Is that what that is? <laughs> that is, yeah. We Holy have the station right here outside the building. Holy mackerel. That's pretty good. And that's the wire version, right? Where you wired it into the, right. into the stuff. So when is, um, when is the, the National Weather Service radio updated? Uh, uh, as far as, is it every hour now, or what, how does that work? It's really continuously. Uh, we have certain times when we issue a forecast package, but then we update that as needed. So anytime mm -hmm. a new product is issued, which could be any time of day, then that's going to update on the, on the radio. So we like to radio. call it all hazards right. radio so because we have agreements with other agencies right. as well to put uh, information on there for safety, public safety.